all right what's what's going on you guys so we are gonna get out real quick I got the uh, headset on the head for the GoPro and we are gonna we're gonna learn how to how's the correct way of measuring the 40 foot mark in the trailer one of these tape measures so if you want to do a technical um, from the front of the bulkhead of the trailer to the center of the kingpin is three feet so you take that three feet minus that by 53 now you're at 50 so now to be at the 40 foot mark we need a minus we need to measure 10 feet so the correct way of doing that which I'm going to show you guys right now if I can get a good grip on it so you're going to take it just like so and measure 10 feet so right here is a 10 foot mark you want to be the center of the rear axle at the 10 foot mark is how that works sorry here is the 10 foot mark my bad it's kind of hard to read look at this stuff upside down with that being said this is the 10 foot mark so we're at the 40 foot if we wanted to be the 41 foot mark we'd be at the nine feet so nine feet would be 41 but 10 feet uh 10 feet will be 40 so you want to be just about center so if I really wanted to, I'd go back one more hole, and this will put me right up to the 40-foot uh, the bridge log, which is California bridge log. Now, Indiana, they are 41 feet, which is the 9-foot. So when I go pick up today, I got to be within this 9 feet. So I'm going to leave it right here, and then if I need to, I could put it back a couple holes probably two or three holes and I'll be in the 41 foot mark so this gives a pretty good rough idea on how to do it it's a little windy up here in Chicago but that's kind of normal so we said we were right about 10 foot mark which one two three four so the fifth hole would be the 10 foot mark but not every trailer is like that and you want to make sure all these pins are completely locked into place if you have one pin that is missing that is a dot violation so you got to make sure all four pins are uh are locked in and they're not disengaged with that being said hopefully that helped you guys out always have a tape measure just for stuff like that and I figured why not do a uh, how-to video you know something education wise and um, let's go in the back of the trailer real quick whenever picking up frozen frozen food or any of that food grade you want to get a trailer wash out and that's what we did we got a trailer wash out make sure both of our latches are latched bottom and top and that's it hope you guys liked it and do some more